Hey everyone, I'm Simon from the Dark, and I've got a progress update for you guys on my model tool, Hypercrown. Today we'll be putting a custom model from Fate Extra, the model of Nero um, from the PSP, into Kingdom Hearts Final Mix. So the first thing we're going to do here is we're going to import the original, just so I can show you guys what the original model looked like, so you have a point of comparison. Uh, we're importing that into Maya, so here we have it. Alright, so if we look over here, you can see that we have the original skeleton and we can open up the, uh, the group here and look at all the different meshes and the different ways that the vertices are grouped. And so what I'm actually going to do is I'm going to take all these groups, I've already done it, but I'm just going to show you with another model that I've saved, um, how I've taken these group, these vertices and I've regrouped them to match the way that Sora's meshes are. So let's go ahead and import that model now. Alright, so this is the model that's prepared for Kingdom Hearts Final Mix, and if we come over here and look at the grouping in the meshes, or actually here's the, the skeleton, so you can see that's Sora's skeleton from the game, and here's the grouping of the meshes, you can see it's different from the original model, there's also a lot less meshes. So now for comparison, we're going to import Sora's model. Alright, so there's Sora, and let's go ahead and give him an offset so we can look at both models at the same time. Alright, so here we have both the models. And if we open up the grouping for Sora, we can see, for example, here the arms and the legs on Nero match kind of the way that the arms and legs are for Sora. So I've, that's how I've grouped them, is I've just looked at the way Sora's meshes are laid out and I've grouped them appropriately. Um, so here we can also look at the skin weights. So if we uh, remove the extra skin weights from uh, Sora's mesh to make it a little easier to compare them. Alright. And we'll also look at Nero's at the same time. I have the wrong mesh selected for Sora. Let's go back to mesh zero for him. Okay, so here if we select this, you can see the white parts right here. That is where I painted on the influences. And so I've just kind of tried to mimic the way that Sora's uh, mesh is influenced on Nero. You can see it's also here on the hands. Um, or sorry, this one's on the neck and that one's on the arm. And then it can go over to the thumb, and it basically does it for each part of the mesh. This is just mesh zero that we're looking at. Right there is the neck for both of them. And if we switch to a different mesh, we can look at that as well. So this will be for the hair. So let's just look at Nero's. So we don't have to compare it anymore, but if we scroll through here, we can see... Um, well, I have to find the bone that is actually weighted on this mesh. Here we go, here they are. So you can see the different bones there are affecting different pieces of her hair. Alright, so like I said, this mesh I've already got prepared. It's ready to go into the game at this point. So we're going to switch over and actually use Hypercrown now, and we're going to go ahead and convert the DAE model into an MDLS model so we can use it in Kingdom Hearts. Um, so the difference between these two models I just showed you before was Nero underscore 0006. We're going to use Nero underscore 006-2. The only difference is that I flipped the UV coordinates because Kingdom Hearts uses flipped UVs. So. We're going to go ahead and run the conversion mode to get the MDLS there. 
and now we're going to run it in texture mode to put the four textures um, used by the model, these four right here, into the uh, into the MDLS. And we're not going to use that weapon texture because um, the weapon isn't part of Sora's model. So if we go ahead and open this up in Yowzer's viewer, all right, select MDLS and we'll open up the textured one. And we can see that it looks good. The textures are correct because we used the flipped coordinates. And uh, the eyes look a little bit funky, but that's just because the, uh, the eyes are combined with the part of the mesh for the face that doesn't have any eyes. And so it's kind of just overlapping, but it's not gonna be too much of a problem right now as we'll see in just a minute. For now, we can go ahead and copy this uh, MDLS file. And we're gonna paste it in the same directory as the toolkit. And we'll rename this, oh, oops, I just made a second copy. Let's rename this into xa underscore ex underscore 0010.mdls. And now we can run the patch maker and we'll replace Sora's model with uh, our new custom model. So now we have the patch file. Now we'll drag that patch file onto patch.bat. And we can start the patching process, which I'll speed up for you guys. Oh, wait a minute. <laughs> I forgot the ISO. Let me grab that for you really quick. There we go. And now we're patching it. So the patch is done, we've booted up the game, and now I'm going to show you what the custom model looks like in the game. Alright, so as you can see, the model's textures have become corrupted after the game loads it. Um, however, the good news is that the moveset and the animations, they seem to be working. Um, I could probably go back and redo the rigging to make the animations look a little bit better. You can see kind of the dress is a little bit funky and how it's rigged and the hands don't look quite right. And overall, there's a lot of things that could be improved, but it uh, works well as a proof of concept. I'm currently working on a solution to fix the corrupted textures when we put a custom model into the game. Um, so yeah, that's probably going to be in next month's video. We'll see another update and hopefully it'll be fixed by then. Uh, I didn't quite make it into this month. I'm still working on it. It's very unstable at the moment. <laughs> uh, so let's see if we can find any Heartless to fight and I'll end the video with some gameplay. Actually, I don't think there are any Heartless in the world right now because I just finished the world. So we might have to head back to uh, somewhere else. So this is, you can see where the uh, the duplicate model is in the background right there. That still hasn't been fixed either. I'm hoping that the same issue that'll resolve the corrupted textures will also fix that corrupted like duplicate model in the background. So like I said, it's still very unstable at this point, which is why I've never shown a fully custom model uh, in so far until now. So Let's head over to Traverse Town. So as you can see, the textures are still messed up. They uh, actually seem to vary a little bit based on the world you're in. Even the location, you see like your skin goes black right there. <laughs> um, so that's kind of funky. But uh, at least the animations are still working in this world as well. I know sometimes the location can vary up. Like if you get a, a model with a corrupted moveset, the location that you're in can, can affect how the moveset is corrupted. But it seems like right now the animations are working, at least in the two worlds we've visited so far. I haven't really fully tested it because it's just a proof of concept. But uh, I'll leave you guys with the rest of this gameplay. I'll finish out the, uh, the Heartless in this area, and that'll be the end of, of the video.
If you would like to help support this project, head on over to my Patreon page, there's a link down in the description, and you can get access to a beta version of the tool. Um, you can also get, uh, at the end of the video, you'll be thanked, uh, there's a tier for that as well. Any support at all would be greatly appreciated. I'll also leave down in the description a link to um, all of the tools that I used in this video. Um, that are not, you know, my tools. So Govan's toolkit for patching the game, as well as Yowzer's uh, model viewer, and a link to Maya as well for editing the models. Alright, I hope you guys enjoyed the video. Have a great day. I would like to thank my Dark Side patron, Stephen Walker, as well as my Neo Shadow patrons, Tristan Watts Willis and Crackle.